Hi, I'm Daniel Recknitzer and welcome to the Intuition Wisdom Channel. You know, every day we're helping liberate people from the rat race, helping them to become self-mastered and to live their life purpose, you know, to really make a difference to themselves and the planet. Now, if you're ready to change your life and step into your power and access that limitless intuition, then you've come to the right place. So today I wanna to share with you some golden highlights from my feature videos. And once you've checked this one out, remember to look at the description for more videos just like this one. All right, let's dive in. Can we talk about death? Sure. In the all-knowing diary, you talk about death as being a state, I guess, that we go through when we're not being connected. Can I take that a little bit further? Because there were those to say, but hey, what about the innocent? What about children? What about babies? Can you elaborate a little bit further on that? Look, it's difficult to comment across something so general. There are, there are many reasons why infants and children die. And some of those are out of our control and some of those are in our control. I know we had an experience uh, when, our, when my wife was first pregnant and she had a miscarriage. And we looked at why that was and we're able to connect to the soul of the child. And that's how my wife's book was written, Natural Pain-Free Birth. It's how you have a natural pain-free birth. You talk to the soul of your child. And she had a miscarriage. So we, we went back to his, his soul, his higher self, and we said, look, what happened? And he made it very clear to us that there were certain lifestyle choices or boundaries we didn't have in our life. And he made it very clear and said, look, I'm not coming through. I'm not going to be born into this family while you're allowing other people to infiltrate or affect this family dynamic. And that was a very harsh lesson for us because the souls coming in have a very, very specific purpose, a very specific outcome, and they need variables to be in place to bring that to fruition. And if mum and dad or there's a certain dynamic not playing out, then often they'll abort, so to speak. They'll abort themselves. It's like, hey, well, now you've learned a lesson. Now you can do it better next time. And that was that was big. So we had to clean up a lot in our life uh, for him to come in again. Unfortunately, he came back and we have a beautiful son now. And uh, he's an amazing boy, but that was a big lesson for us. So there are times where the soul will come in and as a preparation for mum and dad. If there's a little bit resistance in the family and they haven't cleared that, the soul will go, here I am, I'll warm you up and then I'll come back, then I'm going to leave. And I'll come back if you clear that up or not. Um, whereas there's other times where, you know, there's just uh, some things outside of our control sometimes. And can it be too if we're talking about, you know, death in young children, whether it's cancer in children, I know we, we um, it's a really complicated and, and painful issue, especially for some. But can it be that part of that is is what we have to learn from that situation as well? Well, what, what I really want to comment on that, because I know many people have that question, is it can be cured. The children are so sensitive to their to their to their world around them. And likewise we can still tap in and find out what's at that root cause. And because they're so sensitive, they can heal it much faster than an adult. They don't have all the blockages and all the baggage and all the resistances that an adult has. So the message to the parents out there that are in the real um, difficult space of having an ill child, come and talk to us. Get your hands on this book and come and talk to us because there is a very straightforward root cause behind this illness. Okay, and if you ha if they have your support in helping them heal, nine times out of ten, they can be free from this illness. That's a powerful offer, Dan. Mm. And I and I think it, it's from the heart, and I I know that it feels absolutely true what you're saying. So, I would say that anybody out there that has got any concerns at all that they and there's also a Q and A section. On your website, is that yeah, right? We have we have a feature on our website where people can write in. It's called Ask All Knowing a Question. And one of our all-knowing mentors will actually tune in to you, to the question, to your to your all-knowing self to get the answer back to you. So if, uh, if you're not quite ready to dip your toes in and take one of the courses or to speak to one of our all-knowing mentor, by all means, come online, 
and let us know the situation. Ask the question. You don't need to give us any background. We can just tune in and get the information and uh, we'll be able to provide a direction for you, an answer. Fantastic. I imagine that once we get a few people looking at this interview, Dan, there'll be lots and lots of Q&As we'll happening busy, hey? and there'll be lots of people who have have received some fantastic guidance, so that's awesome. Great. Dan, in your book you ask the question, you know, if the body dies, what's the point in recording all of this information? But what about after death? What happens to that recorded information? There's one thing we get to keep on our journey of life. Despite acquiring money or physical possessions or relationships, there's one thing we get to keep, and that's our evolution. And you can call that information, you can call that intelligence, or you can call it wisdom. But that accumulated knowledge and wisdom gets stored and gets gets reprogrammed at the DNA level when we're reborn. And so we don't. It's it's like the soul's way of not having to uh, start from scratch. The more beliefs you've overcome, the more enlightened you've become. You get to take a lot of that with you into your next experience. And that's, that's a fast track method. Thank you for watching and make sure you give us the thumbs up if you loved it. Now, also remember to subscribe so we feel supported and we feel encouraged to keep making more videos like this. Now, my best recommendation is for you to check out the links below to find the perfect video for you. Choose whatever resonates. I'm sure you will love it.